24 update to share with you tonight. It's that time of year when the Lilac City gets busy. Bloomsday just around the corner and Hoop Fest isn't far behind, but with major construction happening in Riverfront Park for the approved redevelopment project voters approved back in 2012, what will those big events look like? We spoke with the city to see how they'll manage to make it all work. Very robust event schedule from now until September. We have something going on in the park nearly every weekend. It's often called the crown jewel of the city. But right now, there are parts of Riverfront Park that aren't exactly shining. Construction is on schedule, but the city decided to shut down the entire South Bank to work on it all at once. That means a little rearranging for big events like Bloomsday and Hoop Fest. With the redevelopment of Riverfront Park, there will be many, many new areas to program and to have a variety of events in. For example, the pavilion has never really been used for a lot of those events. The first event there is next weekend, an Earth Day celebration. Set the stage for the future on what this area will truly be to to show the people what can happen in the beautiful location of the pavilion with the nostalgic and the energy moving forward. Bloomsday will utilize the red wagon area and the clock tower meadow for corporate cup and of course hoop fest will still happen. A lot of the space needed for things like team check-in and Nike Center Court is being found across from the red wagon on the other side of Spokane Falls Boulevard. Final details are still being ironed out but the bottom line the city wants you to know that big events we all look forward to aren't going anywhere. Some of them may even be better. A very exciting time, simply because in the future, our goal is to have something at the park that is for everyone. So what's going to happen to Riverfront Park's rides? The master plan for the park's redevelopment called for their removal. Right now, the rides are in storage and were recently appraised for about $155,000. It's unclear if the rides will be sold or brought back out, either permanently or for special events. But the park's development is, or department is developing a brand new events program and promises there will be something for everybody in the newly renovated Riverfront Park. Uh, even though we don't have rides that may have appealed to the families and youth, there will be new attractions. There may be traveling carnivals that come in. There may be more other types of events that we haven't seen traditionally in Spokane uh, that will offer something special for the community. And part of those new attractions, a regional playground. Riverfront Park officials say this will be the biggest playground in the area. There will also be a smaller playground near the pavilion. And you can learn more about the park's redevelopment next week at an open house at the downtown Spokane Library. That's on April 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. You'll be able to talk with design teams, ask questions, and even provide some feedback.